We spoke about the different intentions that a person may uh, make at the time of entering into ihram. Now let's talk about how a person enters into ihram regardless which intention they take. Remember there are four major sunnahs to keep in mind. One is to shower, bathe, and groom thoroughly, as this will be your last chance to do so for some time. You may use scents, cut, one, cut your nails, hair, and apply whatever body care products you wish to at this time as you have yet to enter into the ihram state. Two, is to don clothing which is conformant to the restrictions of ihram uh, described uh, in the previous video, uh, whether for uh, men or for women, and to divest oneself from all non-conformant uh, articles of clothing. Three, is to pray two rak'ahs. You should also use this opportunity to renew and reinvigorate your good intentions, to pray to Allah Ta'ala uh, to he, that He render divine assistance a valid hajj is not easy and is only possible with Allah Ta'ala's grace and help. An accepted hajj is even more difficult and requires a pure heart attached to Allah Ta'ala without any plan B uh, except for to submit oneself only and purely to Him. Uh, and then the fourth uh, thing to keep in mind is that when you start moving toward uh, the qibla from the miqat, whether you sit in your bus or you sit on a horse or you sit in a car or a motorbike or your train starts moving or you start walking, uh, when moving toward the Qibla after all these sunnahs are fulfilled, then a person will say the Talbiyah, which is the, uh, the, the pilgrim, uh, the dhikr of the pilgrims uh, to the house of Allah Ta'ala, in which I will uh, discuss in more detail uh, in, a, uh, in a subsequent video. 99% of pilgrims from outside the Arabian Peninsula will enter into Ihram in one of three uh, ways, modalities. One is on land while coming from Medina Munawara, either by train or automobile. Uh, uh, or in the air through a flight to the Jeddah airport, um, or from inside uh, Makkah Mukarramah for those who have already performed Umrah and will uh, make the ihram of Hajj through Tamattu. Uh, as for the person who comes on land from Medina Munawwara, the Miqat of the people of Medina is a place classically known as Dhul Hulayfa. There's a huge masjid complex there, complete with showers and shops that sell things that are needed, as well as prayer areas. This is the optimal place for a person to take ihram from and the optimal manner uh, for a person to take ihram. Why? Because this is where the Messenger of Allah وسلم, took his ihram from. And uh, he said, خُذُوا عَنِّي مَنَاسِكَكُمْ Take your rites of pilgrimage from me. Uh, and his emulation is our salvation in this world and in the hereafter. If you go train, go by train, which is by far the fastest and most convenient way to go. Uh, the Medina train station is your miqat. There will be no showers there, however, uh, so you should make sure to shower and change before leaving your hotel room. Coming uh, into Jeddah by air, uh, unless you will go uh, from Jeddah straight to Medina Munawwara, um, because Jeddah is within the miqat, you must enter Ihram before landing in Jeddah. And so put on your, uh, your garments and do all of these sunnahs that we mentioned from before getting on the plane because you will not be able to do them on your inbound uh, plane flight. At maximum, you'll be able to pray your two rak'ahs sitting in your seat. You don't have to get out of your seat and pray standing, unlike the fard prayers. Uh, you can pray your two rak'ahs of, uh, of, uh, of entering to ihram from your seat because it is a non-obligatory prayer. Uh, and don't try to change into your ihram garb on the, on the flight. You will not be able to, you will expose your nakedness or you will have to go into the bathroom, which is so small, and it will rub your clothes on ritual impurity. Uh, so it's very important that a person keep this in mind and not uh, forget to uh, don their ihram clothing before getting on to a flight for Jeddah. The pilot will make an announcement of when you will cross the miqat, uh, if you're coming from the north, they almost always announce it early <coughs> for reasons that uh, uh, that uh, I, I can't get into right now. But uh, if you miss the pilot's announcement by just a little bit, don't panic. Just make the intention of starting your ihram by saying the talbiyah. The third way of, or the third modality of entering ihram for most pilgrims uh, from uh, the United States or from Europe or from the English-speaking world is from inside of Makkah Mukarramah because a person already performed Umrah and they're taking the Ihram of Tamattu from inside the sacred city of Makkah Mukarramah. <coughs> For such a person, the optimal way of taking Ihram is to do all of these things and then to don the clothing of Ihram and go to the Masjid al-Haram and to say the Talbiyah from inside the Masjid al-Haram uh, because that is the uh, most sacred of places. 
However, if a person has to take it from their hotel or from Azizia or for, from Mina or whatever, uh, that's still uh, okay and that's still uh, valid. Uh, just make sure that you do the shower in preparation uh, from your room and that make sure that you are in your uh, ihram by the time you reach Mina. Allah Ta'ala accept from all of us.